Welcome back to Len 2, Good Over and Blackbird and Europe. I'm Gary Lemon. And I'm Steve Raincoat. And these are the World Championships of Banana Throne. We've got a rookie and a legend. Tell us a little bit about what we've got coming up, Steve. Well, our rookie here is Alia, and she's in grade six, and she's looking forward to all. It seems like they're getting a bit personal here. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, she checks the wind. Alia's going to... She's not mucking around. She's straight into Whoa. it. She's got the underarm. Oh, look at the oh. kick on that. Yeah, a good bounce and a good good flip there. Definitely a fine throw, Steve. That's around two two cones there, Gary. You'd say that's competitive, wouldn't you? Just yep. against Peter. Uh, and he's Peter. He's, he's a seasoned veteran yeah, of bananas. Yeah, he, he is a veteran. He's, he's bananas. He's, yep, he's been around long enough. He knows what he's doing here with the banana. So we'll see what sort of elevation he can get and whether he can get quite far enough. He's gone banana in the pocket and he's taken it out. Ellie go. Oh, oh look. that's a good good throw there. Such an elegant style, yeah, wouldn't you say? Beautiful, just, beautiful technique, beautiful footwork. Yep, overarm but doesn't try and uh, out yeah. throw or overthrow try, the banana. He, did, he didn't do what Tony, Tony did the other day. He just he took his time and he majestic throw. So the selections Ooh. there, we've got a very green banana yeah. there for Peter selected. Now uh Big curve on it. What do you think that will do? I think that will definitely help the aerodynamics, and it'll just go through the air better. And it just, it's just often a, a big, a big favourite. Of the end good. on end rotation. I think is what yeah. you're looking for here. Now, what's going on? This has got a bit of trash talk. Oh, this is getting personal. Yeah, this is a bit of sledging here. Oh wait! Oh oh oh! Lucky they weren't, they weren't loaded bananas. That could have been fatal. Could have been a mess. So Ali is having another go. Can she get the elevation that she's looking for? Oh, she got over arm. Could be a foul banana. Oh, that is that very is, close to is, Peter's throw. Well, that's neck and neck. I think it, I think she might have just edged ahead there. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Well, that's probably a millimetre in it. So let's see what uh, Peter can do. He's can feeling he? Feeling the pressure. There's a lot of pressure on. He's can gone. he make it through to the semi-finals? Uh, it's, a, it's a windmill. He's coming under arm, oh. bucketed. It could windmill. be a foul. Could be. A, no, I no. think it's good. Let's see what the see what the adjudicators have to say. The flag's being moved. We've got it's a thumbs good. up. Oh it's good. Oh my goodness! Up. I think he's through to the semi-finals. I think Peter is through to the top four. Well, I was pretty rusty. I put that down to a pretty poor um, pre-season and locked away in my my COVID bubble. But you know, I I trained with the boys for a little while before I started, and I think I did all right in the round. So I'm looking forward to getting into the finals. So I'm very disappointed in myself I like in my head perfect technique underarm throw hoping to, like spin and spin and spin like go past hopefully even into the goals but yeah I didn't even make it to like the heats the semi-finals whatever you call it so some memories I've had from GB was when I was younger like very young and my older brother started GB I used to always come here and like go Wait, is it my year to come? Can I come this year? And like, I remember my first year coming, I'd like count down the days going, okay, two more days to GP. Finally, I can go to GP and annoy my brothers and have fun. And also, I remember my brothers always talking about the drama, so I couldn't wait to see that. So in the lead up to GP, I was so excited, ready for it. And it definitely did not disappoint. <laughs>